So welcome back everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI. Today going to share with you uh, the internals of uh, the EX9700 and uh, the upgrade onto a Jetty DC24 radio. So as usual, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below or email us at info at csmi.com.au. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so um, get the video closer so I can show you what's inside. Basically, you have a modular six-way valve block. Um, these are in modules and you can separate them, increase or decrease the kind of valves that you need for your setup, customize it, right? You can buy this from our website. We will be uh, putting this on our website. You have um, uh, a pressure transducer up here. I will show you the pressure locally on the gauge, whereas you've got the electronic display on the screen. Once again, this will be available if you wanted to buy it. Okay, going back to the pump over here. So uh, you have a, a manifold in the pump up here. This particular manifold, there's a pressure regu regulating valve on this side. It sucks the oil. You can regulate the pressure. And then you have a solid copper line up here with the four-way bolting system or a flange, which then goes with an M5 fitting into the valve block. So the good thing is, uh, you don't, if you buy this valve block, you can use it because you don't need to stick with their conventional four bolts and a flange because you've got an M5 fitting up here. So this can be used on all your standard machines for the M5. Um, the oil comes from the pump and then from the pump, it goes through a high pressure line up here, goes into the valve block. You've got a translucent flexible line over here, comes out from here, goes into the, the radiator. From there, it goes into the oil filter and returns back to the tank. So that's pretty much the construction of the, of the whole valve block system. And obviously, there is a port up here so you can see the system pressure, which tells you what the pressure is, gives it into your gauge, converts the pressure in an electrical signal, and then there's a circuitry that displays it on the screen. Okay, uh, here is the sound module. You can see there's a bunch of colored wires up here. And how they have set it up is each of these wires uh, is linked through a color for every single function. Basically, left and right track rotation, car body rotation, uh, the boom and the stick and the bucket. And what it does, it gets hooked up uh, to the same servo cable, the same servo cable up here. Um, into the receiver and when that servo is moved that's how it gets its signal to give you that corresponding sound so you can probably see up here there's some yellow wires in the receiver up here you can probably see that um, these jumper wires actually come from this particular sound model very different to how server not does it server not gets the signal for the sound from mixing using the joysticks so it knows that when you're moving this joystick it's mixed to the sound module and hence you get the sound from there. Okay, let's go further on. Uh, you have the valve manifold up here, pretty good design. So you have the hoses so they don't kink. They end up in the manifold and then from this manifold, they go to the valve block. Pretty good design, just like probably how the, the real machines are set up on the inside, some of them, not all. And that's how uh, the layout is, which gives you a lot of cavity and room to fit up the battery box uh, up here. So why did I upgrade or why am I upgrading or why am I using this radio? Uh, you got 30 mixes in the DC24, very, very handy. Also, uh, I have um, the grab that we will be bringing out soon. You can control the grabs using the 3D joystick. And that's the main idea why I'm using uh, this particular radio. Of course, there's other things like you can use one joystick for the tracks as well as the stick and the bucket just by the flick of a switch using a complex mix. Hence, uh, I'm going to the DC24, probably one of the best radios that you can buy. So that's pretty much we have on this particular radio. I'm going to wind it up over here. If you have any questions, catch us on the next, on the next video. We will show you how everything on the excavator was pulled apart. So in case you have this machine and you want to pull it apart at this stage to have a look, I'll explain to you where are the screws, where are the bolts, and how to take this apart and how to put it together. So as usual, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave it below or email us at info at csmi.com.au.